It's raining. It kind of feels ominous <laughs> to a certain extent. Uh, yep, let's go. Let's go see how this one goes, shall we? Ooh. Two hours later. Well, that's two hours in my life I'm never getting back. <laughs> It's your boy Will. Um, welcome back to another quick review here on the channel. I am taking a look at Madam Web. This is directed by S.J. Clarkson and stars Dakota Johnson as the titular character of Madam Web. This is, of course, a Sony Pictures production <laughs> of their Marvel characters. Ah! Hey, 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 what's going on? Listen, I'm not going to beat around the bush with this one too much. It's it's not good. <laughs> From a movie spit standpoint, it's really not that good. Um, but this this starts Dakota Johnson as, I think it's Cassandra Kane? Yeah, it's Cassandra. This starts Cassandra Kane. That's a completely different character. This starts Dakota Johnson as Cassandra Webb, who becomes a titular Madam Webb, who is a multiversal being from my understanding who has a unique understanding or connection with other people with spider based powers and in the movie this is like her origin story so she is able to see the future I can see the future um, so she, it's her job to protect three young women who are being stalked by a person named Ezekiel who has random bootleg spider powers and is trying to kill them because they apparently grow up to have powers themselves and kill him. It's not a big secret. This is a quick review of the movie, by the way, so I'm gonna try not to spoil it. So if, you, if you're new here, hi, my name's Will. I'm usually a little bit more cheery-eyed and peppy when it comes to talking about movies and doing reactions and different things like that on this lovely channel that you have stumbled across or that you have been a subscriber for a good amount of time. So thank you so much if you are a subscriber. I do a whole bunch of different things. I just like to have fun and I hope you do as well. If that happens to be your bag and you're interested in hearing that sort of thing from a geeky bear like myself, please subscribe to the channel and all that fun jazz. It would really help me out. I would greatly appreciate it. <sighs> I stalled long enough. Let's talk about Madam Web. Just do it! Well, I've already given you like the brief synopsis of the movie at the beginning. TLDR, it's not good. I dare to even say Morbius was better. <laughs> what the fuck? Not by a lot, don't. Do not assume I have softened my stance on Morbius. You can go see that <laughs> review that is on this channel right now if you'd like. But this movie, I don't know what it is in, in the long scheme of things. Okay, so the Madam Web character, my history with the character primarily revolves around Spider-Man the Animated Series. Because that's when I was first introduced to the character uh, who was... In that show, very much like a multiversal being, kind of like a Scarlet Witch type character at this point in time, or even somebody like the the Watcher or someone who exists outside of space time and basically has a connection with other people who have abilities of a spider, basically primarily Spider-Man. So the movie does try to link her potential future to the three other women in the movie who are shown to become certain spider people only one of them i technically recognized which was uh i believe spider woman but the other two i don't know if they were just made up for the movie or if they're actual characters i honestly did not take the time to look it up i don't blame any of the performers in this movie for my interpretation or reception of this movie i think everyone did the job that they were brought on for the script i will say felt oh wow it's it's not very often that a, a script or dialogue is in a movie that is so on the nose expositional that it completely takes me out of the movie and that 
was kind of the issue I had with this movie was the way everyone was talking. I understand you have to do a level of exposition to help your regular audience member get an idea of what the movie is. That's why we are watching it. We are trying to understand what's happening. This movie kind of takes it up to like 12 when it comes to literally having characters spew exposition and in a lot of moments don't even need exposition like we see it happening we see you're being chased you see you're, you don't have to sit there and tell another person in the same situation like we're being chased by this guy no shit you don't have to treat us like we're stupid when it comes to that sort of thing um but some of the dialogue just it was so stilted to the point where it felt like this is not how regular people talk and even to a certain ex extent, the characterization of most of the characters in this movie, it feels like the first two thirds of it does a job of trying to make you not like anybody at all. It's like people are just dicks to each other for no reason to set up some sort of tension between characters that I get it, but there's a better way you could have gone about this. It also felt, and I hate feel like, I hate feeling like I'm talking shit about someone's hard work, but I don't know if the people in the movie really wanted to be there because just how the performances were, and again, everyone was doing the job that they were told to do, it just felt very unmotivated or like, low energy for this high energy situation that they're they are in with this character of ezekiel who is textbook i'm bad because i want power but now trying to keep myself from getting killed by something that may or may not happen in the future which is hilarious when the entire premise is that these characters can somewhat see into the future or at least one of them can yeah it's kind of used in a certain way to try to make it interesting. Again, the character interactions and dialogues do not help at all. I would say the action is okay, but there's not a lot of it. Like I was looking up what the description of the, the movie is online. It was described as a psychological thriller. I don't think it means what you think it means. Which I don't think it does on either part. I don't know what the script was originally or what the idea was, but there you can tell there was a lot of changes made to whatever the original idea was like the inclusion of certain spider people characters i will try not to spoil it but there are a bunch of connections to spider-man it's like they're there but they feel like i don't know if they were originally there or put last minute to try to play off of the this is a spider-man movie spider-man is adjacent you have other spider people which we never which you see that you see them in costume for like less than three minutes on screen at best. God, I feel like I'm shitting on this movie. I'm I'm really I, I don't want I don't want to shit on someone doing their job or doing hard work. That's not what I'm about. But I'm not gonna sit there and say like this movie was good or even okay. It's bad. And some people have said like it's funny bad. Like I felt like Morbius was funny bad. Because Morbius, at least, it felt like some of them were having a good time doing it. Like, Matt Smith in Morbius was having a good time. I d can't really say anyone in this movie seemed like they were having a good time making the movie. Like, even even the 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 periods of levity just didn't feel levied. <laughs> the chemistry was... It was fine. Dakota Johnson, I thought she did okay with what she was given. I can't even really blame the director as much. I don't even, I looked up a lot of what the director had done previously, and most of it's television. But some people might be like, oh, well, you know, television is different in movies. I'm like, the Russo brothers came from television and they knocked it out of the park on their first drive. I feel like this, a lot of the issues with this movie, like most movies, boils down to someone higher up outside of the actual making of the movie is the one that really kind of gunked it up. I don't know if this movie should have even really been made. I hate to say that, but it's like there's no post credit scene. So I don't understand if there's a connection to a future movie. They try to set up some sort of future connection with the characters in the movie because that's kind of what you see at the end. But like there's nothing beyond it besides I'm assuming this is just a one and done. So I'm like, if it's a one and done, cool. But then why not do a different character like Silk or somebody else? You're trying... 
and I hate to I hate to say that this I feel like this is true, but I feel like the, the only reason this movie exists is because they have to continue to make movies using Spider-Man characters in order to keep the rights from reverting back to Marvel. That's what it feels like. People put time and energy into making these things, and then you release it to the public when it's not good or it's just. Uh, but it just feels like I have no faith in Craven at this point <laughs> because it's like listen you, d you did Spider-Verse you got two passes with Spider-Verse you wasted one on Morbius and this was your second you wasted for good faith you can't keep releasing stuff where it's just like it feels like there's no soul, soul involved in it and I feel bad because I'm pretty sure the people going into making this movie, at least from like the director or even the people performing in the movie, probably didn't go into this trying to make a bad movie or make a movie that people were going to just sit here and jump online and talk shit about. I'm not trying to do that, but I also just realized two hours of my life for God. But it was my choice. It was totally my choice. And I honestly did sit there and like the first like 20 minutes, I'm like, I'm going to try to give this movie a shot. But then just everyone was just being total dicks to each other. I'm like, why am I rooting for anyone in this movie? The closest person I'm rooting for is Adam Scott's character. Like, like, like Madam Webb's ready to dump the three kids at the first sign of danger. And I'm just like, wait, what the f*** is happening right now? I'm sorry, again, I'm trying not to spoil anything from the movie. I, I, I continue to live by this mantra. Please go check out the movie and form your own opinions regardless of what I say. But I can't sit here and be like, yeah, you should rush out to the movies to go see this. No, you don't have to. You can wait for Blu-ray if you really want. But again, this is my humble opinion. If you want to go check out the movie because you are a diehard Madam Web fan, I'm sorry because I don't know if they did the movie justice. I don't feel like they did. I don't want to talk shit about somebody's work, but that's what I feel like I'm doing right now. Um, if I had to say a positive for this, I, I didn't hate the design of the costumes, even though the costumes are only literally featured for less than three minutes. Uh, what's another good thing? Um, a little later. I'm really trying here. Much later. Uh, much, much later. I mean, it's two hours, so it's not short. It's short. It. It's short enough for what it is. Um, much, much, much later. The second act is not terrible. I like some of the visual stuff with the whole seeing into the future and things like that. Some of it was fine. The third act is just kind of there. Uh, Adam Scott's cool. I don't think Dakota Johnson does a terrible job as Cassandra Webb. However, the dialogue coming off of it just felt very stinted and expositional heavy and in a cadence that a normal human being wouldn't talk like that. But I thought the three girls were fine. I thought they did well. I don't remember any of their names, but uh, I thought that their performances were fine. The script is terrible. The villain is one note. Like there's even a scene with the villain where he's like, expounding dialogue to a hookup and the hookup is asking questions and I'm like if someone just told you they have visions about three random girls trying to kill him why are you still in bed get out of bed <laughs> run run bitch run god I'm sorry I really feel bad talking like this about the movie I really wanted it to at least be something. I figured it wasn't going to be, but I'm a hopeful person. What can I say? Morbius was probably slightly more entertaining, and that has all to do with how wacky Matt Smith was in the movie. This movie doesn't have that, and that's why I feel like this is below Morbius. And the fact that those words came out of my mouth is a problem. <laughs> I, I respect everyone's hard work and making the movie and putting the time and energy into it. I just feel really kind of bad that someone literally saw this from some executive level and said, yes, 
put that shit in theaters. I'm like, really? Are you done having your tantrum? It's not my money. It is my money, at least, at least 53 cents of it. Technically it's more because I bought a sweet tea and I got like a small thing of popcorn. That bitch is like $14. <laughs> so theoretically I spent like 15 bucks on the movie. So there you have it. Um, that's gonna do it for this review of Madam Web. I doubt you probably saw it. If you did, sorry. Or if you liked it, tell me what you liked about it. Like prove me wrong in the comments if you did like it. If you didn't like it for genuine structure or story or writing issues that are apparently an issue in the movie, please let me know those in the comments. Um, also, what's your go-to like movie? Like, do you eat during movie? Like, do you get candy and so? Because let's talk about something that might unite us as a species. What is your go-to candy or do you do popcorn at movies? I'm curious to see what you do with that <laughs> because there's a good possibility that you probably ain't gonna see the movie. Or if you did, I'm sorry. If you liked it, more power to you. If you liked it, hopefully you found the good in it. I, I'm struggling. I struggled. But that's going to do it for this review. Thank you for checking this out. If you would, please subscribe. If you happen to enjoy this video or any of my other videos that you're more than welcome to check out on the channel. I just posted trailer reactions for Deadpool and Wolverine and for X-Men 97, which are all coming to uh, movies or Disney+. Plus. Please check those out. I will have my Nerd Drinks Volume 4 video dropping before the end of the month. I swear to God it's going to be posted before the end of the month. So look forward to those things. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. You know, subscribe if you happen to enjoy this. Follow me at different social medias listed at the end. Um, yeah, until next time, I'm going to probably go get a drink. I'll catch you later. See ya. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you did like this video, why not give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends? You can subscribe to the channel by clicking on my gorgeous little face right over there. You can follow me on all the various social media platforms right below. And last but certainly not least, if you've got a few extra minutes, why not check out one of the lovely videos floating right over here. Later.